Hello and welcome to the show. I am back on a car mechanic simulator today. We are going to be working on the Mazda RX-3. In fact, I have two of these cars that haven't taken forever to find one of them. When I was off camera, search, still searching for bits for this bloody thing, I came across another one and it seemed rude not to, uh, <laughs> to buy that one. So, yeah, I've got, I've got two of them. I'm not going to go quite for as... A horrible a plan is to, uh, yeah, only use bits that we find and pull off other cars. The hot rod is still, well, still waiting. We have the asshole, asshole uh, filter that I cannot find. <laughs> cannot find that at the moment, and I have given up basically for now. Uh, we just still need to find another uh, tire as well for it. Uh, so yeah, for now that's that's going to go on hold. Of this we're gonna well tear apart. I think we're going to go for this one because it's orange. Uh, it's supposed to be orange. Underneath all of the rust is orange. I mean, they both kind of look quite orange with all of the rust. Underneath the orange, in fact, actually, shall we go and do uh, one, one of my favourite things with these cars? Well, now that I've uh, kind of cheated myself to a level to get the welder, uh, we can use this, use it on the RX-3 and clean up all of that horrible, horrible rust. Look how much better. That's looking much more like it indeed. Let's get rid of the trunk. We've got, uh, we've got correct coloured doors. Not got a <laughs> correct color fender but there we go let's get the front end off as well front bumper is pretty yeah yeah they're all pretty knackered now as far as uh engine wise goes in this car well there's not much to it um i say i say not much to it there's there's not much of it is perhaps the better phrase in all of that as per usual with the uh, junkyard cars you know, we get just about an engine that's it. This one here has got perhaps a little bit more of the rotary engine. Still, yeah. <laughs> Still not a, uh, not a huge amount. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Actually, I think it's got a complete a complete amount of power. I should have started on... I should be working on this bloody car. This has got more bits. Uh, <laughs> We'll steal them, of course. If we don't manage to repair bits and need bits and so on, I will make the most of having a donor car. However, I'm not going to just rely on, on donor vehicles, especially with how difficult these bits, were, these cars were proving to be. And unlike with the hot rod that shares various uh, V8 components with other cars, a lot of this rotary engine is only on the RX-3, uh, which is, yeah, <laughs> apparently one of the more difficult, uh, more difficult vehicles to find. Let's get rid of all of this uh, horrible, well, it's, it, again, it, it's not really suspension it's kind of rust that is uh, currently holding up the car i do think we have some bits of suspension left over like i have oh, what am i doing i have all sorts of crap in my <laughs> in my inventory now i really need to have a good clear out of it i just need to sell everything but then i keep thinking i'm going to come across something really helpful at some point it'll save me so much time like i know i've got all sorts of bits of brake hanging around which means i probably have enough to uh, completely i guess got to fix the, uh, the, certainly the brake parts of this, uh, of this car, just from components I have left lying around. I have bits of suspension and so on. Uh, I'll have to go underneath the car for that bugger. Right, let's take out all of these then. Get, get the inner tie rod. I didn't do that on the other side either because I'm an idiot. Right, car, oh, no, wrong side. Car away, up, up, into the sky we go with you. Uh, oh, interior-wise, do we have, uh, we kind of have some interior bits. Uh, there is a rib bench i don't know i hope we don't come across the same problem of trying to uh, find the right rear bench for the mazda it looks like it's just a generic uh generic one this isn't a uh, mod car by the, by the way of all of the, the working i'm messing around with the mod cars that i have been doing with this one of the uh, official dlc vehicles if you like it's a yeah, quite quite easy to forget sometimes There's a lot of very very well made mods for this, uh, for this game, yeah, this is an an official an official uh, game car. Uh, fairly straightforward in terms of the front suspension. Curious, uh, I'm curious to see what the back suspension is. I've kind of, you might know better than me if you've been actually paying attention. I'm just whizzing around pulling stuff off at the front. What have we got to deal with at the back of this car? Ah, delightfully, delightfully simple leaf springs. That makes my <laughs> Makes my life easier. Uh, I wonder, does this car have a starter motor on it, or does it have... Nope, doesn't have a starter motor. Does it have a fuel pump? Is that the other thing, a fuel pump that we get? Yeah, we never... <laughs> we just never have fuel pumps hanging around. Let's get rid of the wheels. Uh, and uh, we've got 
I had rust, completely rusted drums at the back. I think I have a couple of brake shoes lying around actually as well. Get all of this guff off. Still have the, I say still have, I had to reinstall the mod for repairing of anything. Because every time the game updates it replaces the uh, file. So if you are planning on playing around with uh, that, make sure that uh, every time the uh, game goes through an update you uh, replace uh, or re-replace the uh, file for the repair anything. Um, yeah, I kind of find it a little bit more entertaining entertaining way to uh, play through the game. Uh, it's slightly cheating, possibly, but uh, again, if I'm having more fun with using that, then screw it. <laughs> basically, basically my approach to uh, to that one. Uh, yeah, this is a fairly, this might be one of the faster cars to rebuild. We've got simple front suspension, extra simple rear suspension. It's how fiddly the engine is on this that uh, will we'll determine whether this is one of the quickest cars to uh, to rebuild. Like the classic muscle cars are great, incredibly fast to um, do all of the running gear, but then the engine is the little bit of pain. I say a little bit of pain in the ass. You've got all of the push rods and all of the other bits and pieces. that are just time-consuming bits, whereas... Um, I'm hoping with the rotary we might not be too bad at the front here. We've got one piece of exhaust. Plenty of hell. Uh, right, so we're going to want to, ooh, while we're here actually, do we have uh, anything that needs coming off from underneath the vehicle? I could crane the engine out, to be honest. would probably be the sensible way of doing it, but never mind. Let's just get the gearbox off then while we are here. Uh, let's get all, all the clutch. Yeah, this actually, this engine actually has come with very much in the way of parts whatsoever. I think the other engine is considerably more complete, but then that does mean that we've got hopefully decent amount of parts. Now, I've got to try and... The uh, rotary a little bit more of a fiddle to work with in terms of uh, pulling apart. Let's see if I can do it from uh, inside. Right, we've got to go from that bit there first. Then we take out the rotor. Then we take out that part, then we have to take out crankshaft that has to be done from underneath the vehicle. Or crankshaft, I believe, is not quite technically the right term for <laughs> uh, for the for a rotary engine, but there we go. And then we have to drop you back down again to get that out. Okay. Yeah, we, what we'll do is we'll crane out this other engine, because the other engine is a lot, lot more complete, and because it's a little bit of a bugger, always is a little bit of a bugger working on the uh, engines inside the cars, we'll stick it on the uh, stand. Unfortunately, I believe, at the moment at least, there is still not the ability to build an engine from scratch on the stand. I believe you still have to, uh, yeah, you still have to... Take an engine out of a car. Oh, I'm sure the window's off while I think about it. Uh, just wandering past, remembered. A little bit of a shame. I, it, it would be nice to uh, see that as a uh, as a thing. It may well be something that happens in, in the future. There's been a, a whole raft of updates uh, going on. Uh, I'll have to see. That's the right one. So, yeah, we might see it in the in the near future or the future at some point. Pull the engine. Oh, I've got to, of course, got to take the gearbox off. Don't know. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm going to drive shaft off. But yeah, at the moment, you still got to be something you pull out of a car before you can uh, can work on it. Do you have any other important bits for now that I can steal? Do you have a stun? Nope, nothing. Nothing at all in terms of the old starter motor uh, department. Uh, people did actually make a uh, very good point when I was uh, messing around with the, with the V8 engines about the oil pans. You can never, ever find oil pans uh, on any of the junk cars pretty much and uh, the reasoning that uh, makes a lot of logical sense to me is that uh, the engines will often be missing things like um, a, a big end bearing or a camshaft bearing or something along those lines and if the engine is missing one of those it will mean that the game can't physically put on the oil pan because the engine bit isn't complete so as soon as one bearing is missing the chance of you finding an engine with every single bearing on it is uh, well nil but basically they're always going to be missing the oil pan which is why i have to scrounge around in the junk parts for uh, quite some time makes sense to me makes sense to me of course with the rotary engine you don't have to worry about that in the uh, in the same way um so yeah <laughs> basically i think i think it's still missing uh, oil pans on them but uh yeah, it's that that would explain that would explain much. That would explain much in indeed in terms of the the bigger engines. Right, so we've got the engine out of here. Let's then go and tear apart the clutch on this one. I actually think I've got a fair amount in the way of certainly clutch pressure plates hanging around. Uh, 
maybe not so much on the old flywheel front, but there we go. Alright, so we can get out oh, first bit of this, and then we go and get out... Oh, we should get the water pump out. That would be a, <laughs> be a helpful thing. At least we've got one of those with it. There we can take the, take the front side housing off, get that. That's actually a fairly bloody complete engine on there. It hasn't got a lot of the, kind of the, the top bits of it, like air filter and all of that guff, but that's probably one of the most complete engines I've ever pulled out of a car full stop. That's, um... That was a good, that was a good junkyard find. Better than, well, that. <laughs> there was not much of that engine when we started. Anyway, I digress. To the repair -y station, where we spam click our way through and probably break all of the important bits that we could really do with not breaking. Uh, sounds about right, the way, the, the way things tend to go with, uh, with me. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while. Okay. Everything I had uh, in the inventory is now repaired. Shall we see how much of the engine? No, my luck. Like, that, that is the one bit of the engine that I broke, so we can't start mounting anything. Fingers crossed. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. I bloody knew it. Uh, right, so we're going to need a lot of rotor A stuff. Now, let's have a look. Oh, we rocked A, I believe, is what we're going to... Bloody hell. Okay, so we're going to need... Oh, I said the engine was in pretty good condition. I say good condition. We, we had a fair bit of it, but there's still also a fair bit missing. So we need inter intermediate housing for now. We'll come back to... Uh, we'll come back to the rest of it later. Yeah, these, typically the rotary engines, didn't have an oil pan either, despite this one having most of the parts. Uh, it might still have been missing a critical bit. Okay, so we have got uh, a decent, a uh, decent, a decent sort of collection of bits. The rotors themselves are good. Rear side housing, that one there is okay. The one that came off the other car, not so okay. We've got at least we've got two rotors repaired. Front side housing is good. So yeah, most of the block is actually all there. Don't have a sprocket. Don't have a counterweight. Do have a water pump, which is helpful. Uh, an alternator. Much pain when you get one of those for the bloody hot rod. Uh, so that's going to need a rotary filter. We Do we have any spark plugs hanging around? Oh, we do. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Let's go get those. And then flywheel. We've got some of those repaired now. Makes uh, <laughs> so many clutch plates. Uh, yeah, it makes, makes life easier, especially if you are trying to uh, level up le legitimately, uh, you'll find yourself doing a lot of gearbox. If you want to level up at any sort of rate, you'll find yourself doing a lot of gearbox jobs, because uh, it's the quickest way of getting XP. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, having lots of uh, clutch bits around is always always a helpful thing to be doing. Uh, we don't have any of those, so we need, basically we kind of need to go through and get just about everything for rotor A. Uh, we might have idle roller hanging around though. That will do. Okay, to the table. It's been a while since I've been buying stuff, quite frankly. Uh, pretty sure we don't have either of those. Pretty sure we don't have the arms. We need the counterweight. We'll need that. We'll need that. Definitely need that. Uh, gearbox we might have repaired, so we're not going to go and buy that. We'll need the coil. We'll need some wires. We'll need an intake manifold. The, the two different parts of it. We'll need the oil pan. We've got all of those bits. We don't have the belt, we've got a sprocket, and a throttle, timing chain, probably don't have the cover. We do have the water pump though, so that's all. Oh, we need an alternator. Okay. Uh, there might be other bits, like generic uh, parts for the engine that we don't have. I believe though with these rotary engines, a fair amount of it is all specialised bits, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, counterweight is in, sprocket thing is in. In, we can get you the timing chain around there. Then we will have the cover. Did not buy the cover. Oh, because it's a rotor B. What? Uh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, ah, I might have got the wrong air filter come to think of it. Okay, so some bits are A, some bits are B. Ah, uh, I might have gone and bought all of the wrong bits for the. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Damn it, I got carried away. I thought I, was, I saw lots of uh, rot A parts, so you know what, let's just go and buy all of these bits as well, and I will eventually clear out the inventory. Uh, let's, yeah, let's grab all of that. I think I bought all the wrong parts because I saw a bunch of rot A bits and got carried away. Whoopsie. Uh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad on all of that one. Uh, oh crap, we need crankshaft pulley and that sort of guff. Hey, we have a distributor though. Hanging around. Uh, we have got the right arm 
part there. So, okay, yeah, a little bit. A little bit of confusion, mostly from me. Uh, that was a rotor B bit. Uh, oh, okay, there's only one bit on there. Power. Okay, so we need a V6. Oh, I forgot about all of the fun and games with this stuff. Uh, we are also building the engine upside down because I like to make life difficult for myself. <gasps> we need clips. Oh, the all important clips. Uh, all right, let's get the oil pan on and then we can move the engine over. Uh, oil pan, very important. Uh, okay, it doesn't have a. Oh, for a second, I thought. <laughs> so the, the way, yeah, the way that it was looking there, it was like it was missing a bolt for the uh, drain plug. You don't have to worry about those in this game. But uh, just the way that the silhouette was going. Right, let's spin the engine over so I'm not working completely upside down. We we, we have got the power. Nope. <sighs> Bloody engine. Sometimes. Sometimes these engines do my head in. Right, intake manifold can go on this side. Uh, oh, we need a carburetor. Oh, God, we need a V8. Ugh. <laughs> we need a V8 overhead valve F carburetor. I haven't even I haven't got the option for an exhaust manifold going on at the moment. We need a V8 pulley and a V6 power steering pump. Can I remember all of these? Power steering pump from a V6B. Yes, we want the pulley from a V8. Not an overhead valve, just a normal V8. And then we need uh, a carburetor from... Yeah. I was hoping it was going to be less in the way of options. I think it was F, but we're going to go and check. Uh, it is F. Fantastic. Yes, I want that one. And then we can hopefully get the... So I'm not sure what we're missing for to start with the exhaust manifold. Maybe something over here. So let's just go and stick these bits on. Crankshaft, uh, power steering pump as well. Okay, that's in there. Serpentine belt. We have got one of the right things. I've got more idler rollers. Hey, perfect! Perfect amount of stuff. Another belt can go on there. Lots of belts on this. Damn it, I need... <laughs> Almost had enough. Almost had enough stuff hanging around. What was it? A? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go with we'll go with that. Uh, oh yeah, because we've got tons of B, haven't we? Right, so that can have the fan go on there. Uh, okay, let's get the... That... Oh, get the filter on... Cover on. Perfect. Am I missing? What are we? What are we missing? Oh, do, maybe I have to do the exhaust manifold. Maybe it's actually part of the exhaust, like the front exhaust section. Possibly, I guess. I'm not going mad, am I? Well, I mean, I might be, but uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going mad. It should go well there. This that would make sense. Either way, it's not there at the moment. Let's get the oil filter and the fuel filter. This has been a nice, a nice rebuild uh, so far. Certainly in oh god, I can't spell. Uh, in in terms of vehicles for a uh, a quick rebuild, this is one of the yeah one of the least time consuming ones that we've had so far. If we go and grab, oops, uh, and I need to click on the stand, don't we? That's the one. Take engine off from... I don't know. Stick engine in box, move it over to car. Oh, no, we're going to need you, aren't we? Move you. Uh, move equipment. I don't actually know how this is going to feel about me putting the engine into this car. That could be interesting. Install engine into the car. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine with me having to take it out of one car and putting it in this car, because it's the same well, same vehicle, same engine and whatnot. So, place equipment back. Part mount. Then can we get the right? Okay, so yeah, the front exhaust section essentially works as the exhaust manifold. That's okay. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's fine. I'm good. I'm good with that. It makes well, say it makes sense. It's slightly different to the other cars that I have uh, worked on previous. They tend to have exhaust manifold. Like that section there would be exhaust manifold. It'd be cut off down there and then you'd have front exhaust. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It's still gone on the car. Hey, we've got the front suspension, tub frame, cross member. Everything is in and the steering rack is going in nicely. Do we have a gearbox? Oh, bugger, we don't. Are oh, they both broken? Because I would have taken the gearbox off of that. Oh, typical. Typical me repairing skill. Breaking the one... <laughs> The, the the middle part of the housing so we couldn't start the engine. I reckon the bloody gearbox as well. I uh, didn't have a radiator to work with. Did we repair that? Oh, we actually have got middle mufflers hanging around. We might even have one of these, come to think of it. Uh, we do, but it's not repaired. 
have managed to repair that. Let's get a fuel tank in as well. Uh, we might have a most of the rear of the car, actually. Good to go. Uh, we'll have four. Ah, typical. We just about have enough to get almost most of it done. But it's, 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 it's an almost most of it. Ah, I don't have those either. Not done a good job. I've, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've broken more parts than usual, but I've just broken annoying ones. Like ones that stop you from completing sections. Like if it was the final part of the brake drum, it would be better than, <laughs> than having like the, the first part of the brake drum. Because I bet the rest of it I've got is fine. Knowing no, Again, knowing my luck. Uh, oh, we've got perfect number of these at least. That's something. And that one over there. And we can grab bits off of the other car because I didn't tear down the running gear on that one. So we can probably get most of this stuff completed with uh, borrowing of parts. Uh, that probably won't have an exhaust on the back, but eh, the, the rest of it should be, should be there. Again, the cars can't be in the junkyard without having wheels on them, so you'll tend to find most of the junkyard cars will have all of the running gear in some form or another. Might not be in great condition. Oh, really? None of these? I guess I was, I was pulling them off in bad condition that I couldn't repair them. Because, yeah, we can't actually really do anything. We're <laughs> in the front of this car because the, the critical parts I don't bloody have. Uh, we might be able to get the tie rods on if we have... Did we repair the tie rods? Oh, we've got plenty of tie rods hanging around. But that's the only bits that we can, uh, can put back on the vehicle. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be tearing down the other... RX3. Might as well use the parts that we've got there rather than having to buy, buy new ones. As I said, yeah, most of the running gear is going to be on that car. Right. Much more progress made with the uh, with the RX3. You haven't had to really buy too much. I bought a lot of excess stuff like a moron, but I haven't really had to buy too much for the uh, Mazda. Best of all, uh, the one that I <laughs> happened to stumble across without really realising is uh, orange to begin with. So... Well, fantastic, really. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.